Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chira. In this video, I am discuss about cookie, topic of computer network. Let us check the outline of this video, what I have covered in this video. The first one is what is cookie? Next, how does cookie works? What does cookie stored? Elements of cookie? Third party cookie? Cookies inside the browser? Is cookie good or bad? So these all topics are covered in this video. Let us start with what is cookie. Cookie is just a simple file or string which is stored inside the browser. Cookie is not an executable program. Next, why cookie are used? Let us discuss one scenario to understand why cookie are used. There is one user. User want to access a website on the internet. So first of all, user send a request to the web server. Web server will send a replay to the user of particular request. So website is open. So here user is serve the website and close the website. After some time user want to access the same website and user sent a request to the web server. But web server does not know that this user is already visited that website or not. So here web server does not store any data of the user because it is stateless process. So how server can remember that user to keep the record of user server will send additional information to the replay. Now see in this diagram. So this is the additional information which is inside the replay. So this additional information is called as cookie. So here cookie is stored inside the user PC. So my simple answer is that to remembering the particular user server will use the cookie. Next where is the cookie stored? Cookie is stored inside the web browser but here little bit change cookie is stored inside the user's hard drive because browser is installed in the user's hard drive. Next, can user delete cookie from the browser? Yes, obviously user can delete the cookie from the browser. Here I have added some little bit information. User can delete the cookie and also block the cookie through the browser. Next, how does cookie work? Let us take one example to understand the working of cookie. There is one user, user want to access a website. But website default language is German. But user doesn't know about the German language. So user is change the language of that website and make it English. So at that time what server will do? Server will create a cookie and send to the user's web browser. So what is inside the cookie? Cookie store the language of that website. It was selected by the user. That cookie is stored inside the user's web browser and website display in the English language. So after some time user want to access the same website. But we all know that that website default language is German. So whenever user want to access that website at that time users browser sends a cookie to the web server. Now web server read this cookie and change the language of that website and display in English language. So it is the working of cookie. Let us take another example. User want to access two different website in which one website default language is French and another website default language is German. That German language website is already accessed by the user. So that German language website cookie is already stored inside the user's browser. So whenever user want to access both the website. So at that time cookie of that German language which is stored inside the browser. So browser sends a cookie to the web server. Now the language of that website is changed. So now German website will display in English language and the French language website is display in the French language. So this is the another example of working of cookie. If you have any query regarding working of cookie, you can ask me in comment section. Next, what does cookie stored? Cookie stored the many information of the user inside the cookie file. But here I am saying some of the information which is stored by the cookie. The first one is cookie store the language of the website. Next thing is the time whenever you visit that website on that particular day and time. Next, what you have served on that website. Next, whenever you surf in the e-commerce website at that time, the cart value is stored inside the cookie. Next, you have visit the website and like something on the website or like the video on the website or you have saved the some things for the open later on that is stored inside the cookie. Next, whenever you visit the website and click some of the links of that website 
which is stored inside the cookie. Like different posts of that website or you can access the another web pages of that website or you are trying to access another website through that website. So this kind of information are stored inside the cookie. But actually what kind of information is stored inside the cookie which is decided by the web server because that cookie is generated by the web server. Next elements of cookie. There are different seven elements are used inside the cookie. The first one is name of the file. The second one is content of the cookie. The third one is domain. The fourth one is path. Next security. Then create the cookie. Then expires the cookie. Let us discuss all the fields one by one. The first one is cookie name. It suggests the name of cookie file. Here you can see over here this is the name of particular cookie which was generated by a website server. That name was given by the web server. Next content. Content of the cookie is stored by the web server because this cookie is generated by the web server. So server can store the anything inside the content of cookie. Sometimes it must be unique ID of the user. The next field is domain. Domain tells where the cookies came from. Using the domain field browser are supposed to check the server are not lying about that domain. So browser can check the domain of particular website. The next field is path. Here path means server's directory structure. It means the website page is stored in which directory of server. If the default path is less, it means you can access the cookie from any page of the website. Next secure. Some of the cookies are secure whenever you access the e-commerce website, banking website or other secure applications. Here meaning of the secure field is browser may only return the cookie to a secure server only. It means website are uses the SSL and TLS connection with HTTP protocol. It means HTTPS protocol are used in that website. Next create. Create means at which time cookie has been created. Now see over here. This is the example. Cookie is created at the 30 July 2021 Friday at 2.38 PM. The next field is expires. The expire field specifies when the cookie is expires. Now check in this example cookie will expire at the 24th August 2022 at 2.38 PM. So based on expires field there are two different types of cookie. One is non persistent cookie and second one is persistent cookie. Here in this example expires field are available. It means this cookie is persistent cookie. If this field is missing or not present inside the cookie it means that kind of cookie is called non persistent cookie. Whenever you close the browser at that time non persistent cookie is deleted automatically. Next third party cookie. The purpose of third party cookie is browsing activity across the different sites. For example to personalize advertisements. So before discuss about third party cookie I am going to discuss about how cookie works with users unique ID. We all know that cookie store the very few data of user but sometimes server want to store more data of user. So at that time what server can do? Let us take one example. There is one user. User want to access a website. We all know that when user access a website at that time web server will send a cookie to the user's browser. Now see in this cookie what is it store? It store the unique ID of user. That unique ID was generated by the server. So that cookie that contains the user's unique ID stored at the user's browser. Now remaining data of the user is stored at server. So now we can say server can store as many as data that server wants. So based on that unique ID of that cookie web server can recognize the user. Now discuss about cookie that store the user's unique ID. Whenever next time user want to access that same website. So what happened? So at that time users browser send a cookie to the web server. Web server check the unique user ID of that cookie. Now based on that unique ID web server can access the data of that user. The user's data are stored on the web server. Now based on this example we can say so that server who gets the unique ID of user can fetch the data of user. So that is called third party cookie. Let us take another example for better understanding of the third party cookie. There is one user. User will access a e-commerce website and search the wireless router on that e-commerce website. After searching about the router user will close the website. After closing that website user will open 
another website like news website. So during this accessing that news website at that time, some of the ads display on that news website. That display ads is based on users last search like wireless router searching on the e-commerce website. So this is called browsing activity across the different sites. For example, to personalize ads. So this is the actual purpose of third party cookie. Next, cookie inside the browser. First of all, open your browser, go to the settings and click on privacy and security. Now here, see the settings of cookie. Whenever you clear your browsing history, it means it clears the cookies and cache and history from your browsers. So all the cookies are deleted from your computers. Now in this topic we are discuss about cookies inside the browser. So I am clicking here cookies and other sites data. Now see this cookies and other sites data. This is the settings of cookie inside the web browser. Whenever you click on this radio button it means allow all the cookies. It means whenever you surf any website on the internet at that time all the websites cookies are stored in your browser. So purpose of cookie is that to keep the sign in it means cookie can store the user ID and password of the user for the particular website. Also remember the items in your shopping carts for the e-commerce website and it uses for the many more purposes like whatever you have visited in that website whatever you click on that website. So all the data are inside the cookie. Another purpose of the cookie is browsing activity across the different sites. For example, the personalized ads. Now I am giving you one example of that particular purpose. So how browsing activity across the different sites. For example, you are searching digital camera on different websites like Flipkart, Amazon and many more. After searching of that digital camera, you will open Times of India website for the news reading. And whenever you read the news on the Times of India, so advertisement of digital camera is shown on Times of India website. So it means browsing activity across the different sites for the personalized ads. Now using these three options you can block the cookies in different modes of the browser. So this is the block third party cookies in the incognito mode. You can click on here. Also you want to block third party cookies for the regular mode of the browser you can click over here. If you block all the cookies you can click over here. So all kinds of cookies will blocked inside your browser. So no website can store the cookies in your browser. The another setting is that whenever you close your windows or we can say whenever you close your browsers so all the cookies are clear. You can also enable that for the clear all the cookies. Let us see cookies which was stored in my browser. So there are so many cookies are stored over here on my browser. Now I will click in this cookie. This cookie comes from one.evento.market. So this is the name of cookie IRLD. This cookie came from one.evento.market. So IRLD is the name of cookie file. Now see, this is the name of cookie file. This is the content which was stored by the particular website. This is the domain name of the website one.evento.market. This is the default path which was stored by the website. Now you can see over here secure connection only it means HTTPS is used for this website. Now this is the created and expires. When this cookie was created this cookie was created on 21st July 2021 at 744 25 pm and this cookie will expire at Monday January 17 2022 744 pm. You can also open your browser and check that cookies list. If you have any query then ask me in comment section. Next, is cookie good or bad? Cookie is good or bad? It is up to the creators of that website. So before discuss about cookie is good or bad, I will give you one non-technical example. There are two different tools. The one is Hammer and the second one is Hexo. We all know that both the tools are used for the making the furniture and destroy the furniture. So based on this example, I will ask two different questions. The first one is what information creators do and do not store inside the cookie. And the second one is how they use that store information. So based on these two questions, we decide our cookie is good or bad. We all know that there are some personal information of the user are stored inside the cookie like user ID and password. So based on that personal information, I will say if attacker hijack and use the cookie, it's very dangerous. Else we can say user will use that cookie that is used for the better purpose. So based on this we cannot say the cookie is good or bad. 
So if you have any query regarding the concept of cookie, you can ask me in the comment section. If you like this video, you can like and share with others and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching this video.